walking down a road and reflecting on his current lifestyle with Tanya and Kanade, Rain and his company are confronted by Arios and his group. Arios gives a sarcastic greeting to them, and Rain immediately suggests they take a different route. Arios speaks some depreciated remarks to Rain, so Kanade and Tanya step in to defend their master. Tanya then questions Arios' group's identity as that of the hero party. Disliking Tanya's tone, Arios tries to rebuke her, but realizes that she and Kanade are a dragonoid and cat spirit. Seeing the ultimate species Arios thinks that Rain is their servant, but Tanya immediately tells him that Rain is her master, Arios and his group surprised to hear that, Rain asks what business they have for him, and Arios claims that due to the difficulty of the lost woods, they had to withdraw from it. Hence, Arios offers to Rain, allowing him to rejoin his group despite his uselessness. Agath, Leanne, and Mina then all comment that Rain should be grateful for them allowing him to rejoin their group. However, Rain refuses their offer, but Leanne tries to convince him, claiming a relic called the Shield of Truth located in the forest would allow them a fighting chance against the Demon King. Furthermore, Leanne mentions that monsters would swarm and attack settlements without that relic, which triggers memories of Rain's past. Under pressure, Rain quietly agrees to it, and Ario's group scolds him for not accepting from the start. As Ario's group starts to walk off, both Kanade and Tanya stop the hero party and demand that they properly apologize to Rain by kneeling. The suggestion shocks the hero party, and Tanya threatens to incinerate them with her breath if they don't properly apologize to Rain. Grabbing Rain by the cuff of his collar, Arios demands that he keep his pets on a shorter leash, which upsets Rain. However, Arios insists on it and tells Rain that they are animals in the form of humans. After listening to Arios' nonsense, Rain punched Arios in his face. With that, Arios challenges Rain and his tamed monsters to a duel to see who is stronger, and Rain accepts it. In separate locations, Kanade faces off against Agath, Tanya faces off against Mina and Leanne, and Rain faces off against Arios. Kanade's fight starts first, and Agath is happy that he has to fight against an ultimate species such as her, and Kanade vows to beat him up and make him apologize to Rain. On the other hand, Agath has no intention of doing so, hence, Kanade starts the fight with a quick and powerful kick followed by a flurry of punches. Agath manages to defend against the attacks with his broadsword, but is quickly overwhelmed by her attacks. Kanade then comments that Agath hasn't made a single move against her, which is surprising as he is part of the hero party. This remark triggers Agath, who finally counterattacks with his special move Hellfire and Brimstone Slash, however, Kanade easily deflects the attack. Furious by this turn of events, Agath proclaims he will fight with his full strength, and Kanade proclaims she will fight with half of her own. The revelation shocks Agath that Kanade has not been using even half of her strength thus far, and she quickly ends the fight with a single kick. Elsewhere, Tanya faces off against Leanne and Mina, who openly claim she'd prefer fighting Arios than those two because they are so weak. Tanya's remark upsets the two mages, and they cast Gravity Burst and Holy Flare. By snapping her hand, however, Tanya dispels the attacks. Thus Leanne and Mina cast Judgment Arrow and Red Crimson again, Tanya dispels the attacks with a snap of her fingers and claims she used what is called Materia Canceller. Refusing to believe they are beaten, Mina and Leanne cast multiple spells against Tanya, however, she dispels them with Materia Canceller. To finish things off, Tanya casts the epic spell Ultimate End against the two, but it is fake, making them pass out. On Rain's side, he faces off against Arios, who forces him back with his swift swordplay. However, despite this, Rain only takes minor scratches from the attacks and notes how underwhelming the pressure Ario is giving off compared to Tanya. Rain then attacks Arios with a punch to the gut, which breathless him, and Rain reveals that forming contracts with Kanade and Tanya grants him new power. Arios then uses magic to attack Rain, but Rain is able to dodge them. 
Utilizing the analytics he gathered from his observations of Arios and with the help of an Arby, Rain wins his fight against Arios. Moments later, Tanya and Kanade rush to Rain's side and embrace him.